What is going on Social Flare family? Today we're gonna to show you how to use the new Mass Reactions tool in the Social Flare app. It's literally the best tool to use in Social Flare. And we are the number one automation Instagram growth software um, available online. And what I wanna do is show you how to use it. So what we wanna do is we wanna go here to dashboard. We go into dashboard, we go into accounts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our account in. So on the top, left hand corner there's a person with a plus on we simply hit that once we hit that then we put in our username our password and then we can send that code to either an email or phone number it's going to send you a code then you have to put the code in here um, so you just put the, the username password sent to send to a phone or an email i usually recommend email you hit add account it will send you an email and then it will have you put in that code uh, once the account is connected, it should um, pop up here. Once your account is connected, now it's time to get it growing. So now we go down to automation. We're going to go all the way down to automation, go to mass voting reactions. This is the main tool that we're focusing on. We want to select our account. We just tap it and we will have a updated tutorial here. So always watch this video just to make sure it's up to date. And as you can see, we are here. Um, I recommend only targeting usernames, so select this first option, people followers. It's going to um, only target uh, people's followers, right? So we want to put specific usernames in here. Uh, you want to make it niche specific. I would have it under a million followers and above 200,000 followers in that range. And then you just want to, you know, basically search for the account and then it should show up in a black box right here. Scrolling down, we want to make sure that polls is selected, poll sliders is selected, quizzes is selected, countdowns unselected, answers is obviously selected. And then for you guys, it's going to look like this. You want to enable the like, and then you want to copy these settings, have it either on two or three posts. It's just basically what that means is it's when it likes someone's post, it's going to like their last three posts. I just have two. I mean, you could have two or three. It doesn't matter. Um, if you want to like your own posts then you would just have that that basically just goes in your timeline anyone that you follow it just goes and starts liking your followers i want to have that off because i want maximum growth right um like the last post comment i have that on that's just another way to show up in someone's notifications speed i recommend starting at 50 likes per day i would never go over 200 but always start low even start even lower you could be 10 likes a day if you want to be super safe I have mine at 50, my account's more seasoned, it can you know, take more. We wanna make sure that follow is selected here. Um, 50 follows per day. If you have the follow unfollow on max, you, you do 100 follows max, right? If you're just doing follows, you can go up to 200, but I would play it really safe in the beginning to warm up your account, have it at like 15. Mine is pretty experienced, so I can have it up to 50. And then, um, the next option below this is basically if you want to mute everyone that you follow. So you could either have all or none. I don't really care. Uh, but let's say like it's following 50 people per day and it's kind of spamming your, your timeline and you don't want them to show up, then you would hit all and it's just going to totally mute their posts and their stories. Um, I have unfollow turned on max 50 unfollows per day. Um, unfollow interval is at two days. So every two days, it's going to unfollow 50 people. So it's basically going up um, or it's going up um, 100 every two days and down 50 every two days. So you'll always have like 50 plus, right? Um, optional features, reply to pending DM. This is basically hyper DM where it just, it literally goes in and replies to everyone in your requested inbox. So if you have like 300 messages in your request DM inbox, it's going to send out a script to everyone. And I have um, the script right here. So you just put in any text you want. Mine's really simple. Hey, how are you? I want you guys to try out this free software. You could have any call to action there. And that is basically it. Um, you wanna go all the way to the bottom and make sure your status is turned from deactive to active and then hit save. And then that's basically it. And then I wanna show you guys how to see if it's working. You scroll all the way up, go to um, answers as well. This is really important. If you have answers turned on, you need to make sure that you have um, answers in here, right? So 
what you would want to do is put in anything. So this is responding to a story. So let's say you have like, please follow me, which is really spammy. I don't really recommend this, but you, you get the idea. And then you would add the message, right? And then it gets down here. You need to make sure that you add the message first and then you can save, right? So you need to be adding these messages. Um, so if you, so, um, oh, I'm sorry about that. So if you wanna add a message, the tool actually needs to be deactivated first, which is a common mistake that I just made. So hit deactive if you wanna add these messages. I really think that you guys need to add the message. It's gonna help you. So if it's the status is deactive, you can add new messages. So you would go to answers here, and then we're simply just gonna add anything. It could be, hey, I mean, this is just responding to people's stories, so it could be anything. Please check out my music. And then you would add the message, and then you hit save. And then it should show up down here. That's literally all you need to do. And then go back to settings and make sure you turn it on once you add the messages. So see how it's deactive? We need to make sure it's active, then save. And then just to make sure that everything's working properly, you go down to stats and it's gonna show you all the actions that it's doing. You can go to activity log and it will show you all the actions that you are performing. If you guys are on the free trial and you would like to upgrade to a month version, it's pretty easy to upgrade. You would go all the way down to upgrade slash renew all the way on the bottom here and you're able to access these packages. I recommend either agency access if you wanna start managing and growing your own clients, or the $99 a month, you get all the tools unlocked. Basically, if you're on the trial, this is what you're on. And then if you want a little bit less growth, you're not too serious about building really fast, this still does grow your account. You're still gonna have the mass voting, um, follow, unfollow um, included with this. And so it's really up to you. The $15 one is just for post schedule. So it's gonna post and automate your um, posting on your feed. Um, so hopefully this helps and we'll see you guys in the next one.